So this is one of likely a few mini snippets for the read a thon. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to be reading Johnny Appleseed by Joshua Whitehead. Um, a little early because <laughs> when I have to return it through um, return it through Overdrive, it's the day of um, the read a thon starts. So hopefully that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be my indigenous Aboriginal um, read for the read a -thon. So that's my choice for that prompt. So yeah, I'll, we'll see how I like it. Okay, so finished. Um, Johnny Appleseed for the Read a -thon. So this one can cover like three, four of the prompts. <laughs> um, indigenous author, LGBT. Um, it has a little bit of red on the cover. So at least three. <laughs> I do have other books um, that could cover um, the other two. But, um, yeah, so, for, for me it was okay, um, there is a back and forth, few different stories of his life, like, it does go through, like, his life, him living in, oh, province I haven't been to. Manitoba, um, living off the res in Winnipeg, doing what he does, like his job online. Um, his me um, I'm assuming um, the name he uses is for his grandmother, so his interactions with her, his mother, um, getting used to living at off the res and everything so his experience of being moving from the res to a bigger city and everything so um like there's that and like um there's bringing in that like um two spirit um into the story as well since the author is um two spirit um and everything so um just know that it's going um when you get um if you pick do pick it up it, you do get that like back and forth jumpiness um to it but yeah like it was okay um yeah so um a decent book to start off um the read a -thon. so yeah um catch you up on the next book. Okay, so I finished The English Patient by Michael uh, Adachi um, for the book um, by um, like a Canadian publisher. Yeah. It's a reread. I'm pretty sure I read it in um, high school English and um, still confused by it. Um, it can be stretched as like a love, love story, love it story, but it, it follows like these four people in um, the Second World War, and um, yeah, Hannah, who's like the nurse caring for this English patient, and um, two others, the narrator and Clifford. I just finished it and I forget the, the, <laughs> the one guy's name, but yeah, it's a bit jumpy, like um, remembering stuff, but yeah, um, so that's the um, second book I finished for, for this, and I'm on my third, um, so you want to talk about race, I know it's not a Canadian book, and I should look at other people's TBR for, for this prompt, like about anti-racism literature. 
so um, like I get half a point for this <laughs> um, for this one um, but I'm gonna see if I can get other people's um, I'm gonna have a look for other people's read for this and see if I can get it off of um, overdrive um, yeah because like that's where I'm getting a lot of my books for these is Overdrive. Um, a few of the books are uh, like three of the, of the books. Four? About five are, um, I do have, um, I have purchased, so. But, yeah, so, um, two books down and at least two prompts done. Um, crossover for the Johnny Appleseed one, but I'm trying not to um, have that one be my crossover for like the prompts that I've mentioned earlier. <laughs> so, but I do have other books um, for a few of the other props um, that Johnny Appleseed would um, cover, but yeah. Um, until next book. Okay, so... I did look over my holds on Overdrive. I do have two NT racism books on hold from like a Canadian perspective. So, and I should have put them on hold a lot sooner. <laughs> um, but I'll still read them even if I don't get them in time by the end of the readathon. Um, so. Yeah, I th like to me, I'll still read them. I still think it's a good thing to um, know about. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, like, I'm I'm thinking that some people have gotten those for for this or want to know more and everything. So. There's a slight chance I might get it on the um, last day or something, um, or before, open before. One has like 23 copies available ebook-wise, um, and the other's like two copies. So I don't know about the one that has like two copies, but um, there's a chance on the other one that has 23 copies um, of the ebook. So. Um, so depending on how fast people go through that book, and if they're doing it part of their readathon, I could get that one before. So, um, but I should be finishing. In, uh, so you think you wanna? So you wanna talk about race audiobook soon? Um, and um, I finished Little Canada. Or um, the Canadian children's book. It's like little um, riddles with like images, and it also has a little bit of red on it. So there's that. So um, Johnny Apple, Johnny Appleseed, The English Patient, and Little Canada. Three three books so far, and. Um, Hopefully over the next few days I'll get uh, a lot more of the books that I have out um, read. And I do have like four books that I did purchase. So um, hopefully I'll get those read too. And yeah. Okay, so Washington Black. Um, likely here in Netflix. Um, so, I forget what prompt that is. <laughs> I, I decided for Washington Black. I think it was for as a nominee and a black author. But, um, yeah. Oh, totally sleep, sleep deprived. But yeah, um, 
I pushed myself through that book. <laughs> like, I like the journey that he had gone on. And I liked that, like, some of the chapters could have been mushed together and adjusted to be a bit shorter, a few pages shorter. But it's not a top book for me. I I found it as a nice book and everything, but a book I, w I wouldn't read again. Um, but yeah, um, next one. Okay, so I finished Emancipation Day for Black Canadian History Book Prompt. Uh, I made it partway through Scion of the Fox before it returned itself. <laughs> Um, through overdrive. Um, I'll read another Dear Canada book for um, province I have been to because I kind of cheated with this one because I read another um, Dear Canada book that's set in Ontario which I live um, so, um, oh, I hate when my hair does that, but anyway, so, um, I'm likely going to read the one that takes place in Halifax, Nova Scotia, which I've been to, um, once a few years back, so I'll likely read that one. Um, It's the second last day of the read -a -thon. So, and I do have a f number of books that I wanna at least get started for a number of the other prompts. Cause right now I still got a few that overlap into um, some of the prompts and I wanna try not to I have one book that um, goes into like multiple prompts because right now Johnny Appleseed goes into um, one, two, three, four, at least four prompts. And Little Canada goes into two, a Canadian children's book and read on the cover. Um, but I'm okay with like that one overlapping with the two, but um, I'm gonna try, I still got a good few hours left in today um, to start reading um, books and I have tomorrow, obviously, and I'm going to see how much I can get read. Oh, I hate these wisps of hair. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll update later. Okay, um, it's really on the last day of the read a -thon. Um, there's a possibility that I am going to um, get a good majority way through two books that I want to read for it. Um, but I know the other books that I want to read for this, I'm not going to get to. I'll still read them, um, but it's just going to be after <laughs> the fact. Uh, and... So, not a complete fail, just a little delay in reading some of the stuff. So, I don't think it's a complete loss um, the first time I'm doing <laughs> this readathon. Um, plan a little better for next year. 
if I plan to do it. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good one to do again, so yeah. <laughs>